Yes, so the mood of festivities here in Nigeria, that, that's the big news. Of course, everyone's been, quite a lot of folks on the road, the airports were filled. You look at the front pages of the dailies today, you find folks making last-minute shopping at the retail end of the market, what you call the informal economy. So it's going to be a bit of a buzz for those in that sector, but the formal economy is the one closing shops for these sometimes very contentious record number of days. Some folks believe we have the highest number of holidays around the world in terms of how often we go on public holidays, whether they're civil or religious or unreligious, so to speak. So uh, what's the view from the uh, economists about why do we go on holidays all the time? Is it really necessary? How much do we lose? And how can we improve productivity even when we have such a record number of public holidays. Ms. Bakawani is the CEO at uh, Financial Derivatives Company. Let's listen to this a short interview with him. Take a listen. First and foremost, holidays, uh, there's a typical work, balance, work uh, pleasure balance in every life, okay? So the reason why you have one day or two days of a weekend every week is to allow people to come back refreshed. Now, what has happened is that if you look at um, <clears throat> work free days in Nigeria, there are 15 work free days, five for Christians, five for Muslims, and three political. In, apart from that, you, at times in an electoral cycle, you have election days, and which are usually Saturdays. And, uh, but there are 15 work free days. As a percentage of all days in the year, the work free days come to about 3.9% of total work days. While if you take weekends out, right, out of the 365 days, you take the 5,204 out, the work-free days come to 4.9 or approximately 5% of all work days. Now, the cost of that, the economic cost of that is the total GDP of an economy, that is goods and services produced in this economy, is approximately $400 billion. $400 billion for the year, okay? Right? Which is, when you multiply by 365, you get a Naira equivalent, which is trillions of Naira. So how much does a public holiday cost a country? Right? The total 15 days comes to, in all, about 13, about $14 billion if you include weekends. No, if you don't, if you exclude weekends, it's $14 billion. That's the cost. If you take the weekends out, and you now have approximately 264, 262 working days in a year, and you take these 15 days as a percentage of the 262 working days in a year, you end up with about $20 billion. That is the cost of holidays to the Nigerian economy. One is 5% of total production for the year, for the year, which is $20 billion. And one of it is 13.9% of the total production in a year, which is actually about $14 billion. What can you do with $14 billion or what can you do with $20 billion? $20 billion is a lot of money. It, the cost of repairing, the cost of repairing uh, the Abuja airport was something like $18 million. So you, gotta, you have to multiply, I'm just telling you that $18 million. Think about that. $1,000 million is $1 billion. So you would have hundreds of airports to repair if you use it. just the, the financial implication of public holidays. The cost of a teaching hospital is probably something like almost $20 million, right? And there are five times 10, there are 50. So you can build, with $1 billion, you can build 50 teaching hospitals in Nigeria, $1 billion. Multiply that by, so you, with the public holidays can, can produce for us something like almost 500 teaching hospitals if, if, if we worked and we are productive. France, Italy, they have the whole of August 
So 30 days in a year, there are holidays, and the rest of the year they are working. And they still take the weekends off. But I think that there is a productivity issue in Nigeria. Labor productivity growth is minus 1.5%. In fact, minus 2 to 3%, right? Which means that labor, is, labor productivity is going at minus 2%. While the economy is going about, in a good year, it used to grow at about 5%. But now the economy is going at minus 1.5. So when you add the two together, you are getting negative output of some sort. So the productivity, is it a function of time or a function of work ethic? So a lot of Nigerians, even when they come to work, they're not working, they're not producing anything. So I don't want to tie the number of days, work-free days, to the economy that tightly. I think that, yes, it is true that the number of public holidays are quite excessive, 15. But even when the days they are working, what kind of productivity do we get? <clears throat> so you go, Christians only will observe the Christian. The, it's impossible to manage it. So in my office, those on Muslim holidays, all of them, you know, are, they're always going to do their job. Public holidays are public holidays. If you have a secular state where you have Muslims and uh, Christians, or that both? Even in the U.S., Labor Day, Thanksgiving Day, uh, Independence Day, when it falls on a weekend, they observe it the following day. So it's a day off to celebrate Martin Luther King Day. So it's not, it's not, it's not unusual for the day of observation to be different from the actual date. Even people have their birthdays, right? And if it falls on a Monday, when they're going to celebrate, they wait until Saturday. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit of a, a insight from uh, Bismarck Rewani. Of course, we all know about holidays, but how much does it cost and how we can improve our productivity.